Sports. From Mount Lemmon to Cochise Stronghold, Southern Arizona has some of the nation's best rock climbing, no matter one skill level. That includes indoor rock climbing. Nine on your side's Tina Giuliano visited a gym called Rocks and Ropes, where R&R takes on a whole new meaning. See if you can find a sequence where you don't have to match on this. Inside the climbing gym Rocks and Ropes, Donovan Lieber defies gravity. It's just a really good workout and it gets your blood pumping and after it just makes you feel good. With each move, he clips into the next carabiner, bringing the rope along with him. It's a form of climbing called lead climbing. Personally, I like bouldering the most where it's just the wall and you no rope because it's not very high. On the next wall, Lena Green is working on her project climb. I mean, a lot of it is how strong you are, but um, a lot of it's technique too. Green and Lieber are on the youth competitive climbing team at the gym, taking them around the country to compete. But in competition climbing, you have like a certain amount of attempts and a certain amount of time. Established over 10 years ago, there are six different teams within the program at r, &R with just over 90 athletes. They can decide if they want to take a competitive track or a recreational or outdoor track. With two tryouts a year, head coach John Mafco says he's seeing more and more athletes. When we held our annual tryout, we had um, about 80 brand new kids show up. Julia Marcus has climbed for the last nine years. She's on the rec team. Would not be who I am without this sport. Now coaching the next generation is her passion. Which I love doing and I hope to make it kind of my full-time job. I would love to coach older athletes, possibly competitive athletes when I'm older. But for these athletes, being on the team is also about building community. You are like bound to make friends when you join a climbing team. Come on, Maggie. You know, it wouldn't be the sport it is without the people. The athletes continue on the team until after high school, but their love for the sport doesn't stop there. And I'm going to see if there's any like adult competitions that I can do. So they'll keep training, creating friendships, bringing them back to the gym each day. We're just here to hang out and have a good time, and it's I wouldn't have it any other way. In Tucson, Tina Giuliano, Kega 9 on your side.